I spoke to a very interesting, important person today, by chance. Since I have a late show now, which starts three hours later, I'm almost going crazy not knowing what to do before the show. So I've given up trying to exercise. I've given up trying to fill the time with something uh, constructive. I'm not going to get a personal trainer. I'm not going to take up karate. I'm not going to take up flying. I'm not going to take up yoga. So I laid in bed this afternoon and watched uh, Strangers on the Train in a Hitchcock movie with the curtains drawn with my dog. It was perfectly fine. In fact, <clears throat> before I laid down in bed, I had a severe pain in my back from a procedure in the uh, dermatologist's office the other day, which apparently I went into a seizure of some kind. And <laughs> and uh, I had such a pain. I said, I'm not running. I'm not jogging. I'm not doing, I'm not doing any of it. I watched the movie. The pain went away. <laughs> I woke up, the pain was gone. But about an hour into the movie, the phone, ring, 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 yeah, hello, who's this? It's Mort Saul. I said, what? Now, you got to hear this story. You don't know who Mort Saul is, then you don't really understand comedy and you don't understand radio. How do I know, know Mort Saul? I don't know Mort Saul. When I was a kid, growing up in New York, I was enamored of many things, including the West Village, and I'd go into the... Village Vanguard to see people like Lenny Bruce, and those were amazing days for me. They were they were amazing days. But there was a man who preceded Lenny Bruce, named Mort Saul, who you can call him a comedian if you want. I mean, I call him a performance artist rather than a comedian. But he was the one who actually is the progenitor of talk radio. I, I said that, no one else. Now there are some famous comedians who claim that he inspired them. All of them are psychotic left-wingers, even though I think Mort Saul is not a left-winger. I'm pretty sure he's a conservative, but I, I never, I didn't get to know him that well. But Woody Allen, Jay Leno, Will Durst, never heard of him. And, and others claim that uh, George Carlin, dead now, John Stewart, a psycho-liberal, sellout vermin from uh, the bottom of a fishing hook. Chris Rock, one of the most disgusting vermin on the planet, doesn't know how to tell a joke without putting an F word in it. Talentless, but men like Lenny Bruce were influenced by Mort Saul. But Mort didn't know that I was influenced by him. So why do I say I was influenced by Mort Saul? And why does it have to do with you, the listener of talk radio? I'll tell you if you listen, if you want to learn something. Mort Saul was the first man to walk out on stage with newspapers under his arm wearing a v-neck sweater and start talking about the news. He would look at the newspaper headlines and start his monologues. He didn't have written material, so far as I know. He did f uh, free association. And as a young guy, I would watch this. I think it was on Ed Sullivan with fascination. I loved what he did. I loved the idea that he was sort of an intellectual who was funny. And I loved that he was so intellectual and so funny that he was on Ed Sullivan. He was, uh, you know, he went, he went to the top of the heap. Incredible. But um, he influenced me without my knowing it. Well, so did Jack Kerouac influence me, and I never met him. It would be as though I, was like, I got a call from the grave from Jack Kerouac, or that I was laying in bed with a backache watching a TV show, and the phone rang, and it was Ernest Hemingway calling uh, <coughs> from the other world, saying, hey, Savage, how you doing? But it wasn't. It's a living, uh, living legend named Mort Saul. So I, now let me explain how he got my number and why he called and why I'm telling you this story. I have a neighbor in one of the places I hang out, in a little cottage. And the neighbor said to me, Mort Saul likes your show. You should call him. I said, how can I call him? I don't know his number. This has gone on for two years. I gave my neighbor my number, and I said, look, give it to Mort, and let him call me anytime. Let him come over for coffee, a drink, or this, or that. Okay, two years now, this goes on. The neighbor bicycles by. He says, you really got to call Mort. I said, but... I You've said this for two years. I've given you my number. Tell him to call me. How am I going to call him? I don't have his number. So finally, the phone rings two years later, and it's Mort Saul. So we had a wonderful conversation. He's going to be on my show. I'm waiting for a very special surprise for my listeners. I'll have Mort Saul on the show, I believe, December 3rd. I have a very big announcement to make on December 3rd. It's right after the holidays. And I'll have him on then. I'll save it for then.